Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. Happy St. Patrick's Day to those of you out there celebrating St. Pat's Day. It is March 17th, y'all. And thank you to each and every single person on my subscriber list for subscribing to my channel. For all of you YouTube creators, I've seen all of you going out and throwing my video out there, rallying the troops to get me to 1,000. Y'all, we have hit it. So thank you to everyone and thank you to all of you creators who went out and said, hey, look, check her out. Get her to a thousand, please. Y'all, we've hit it. <laughs> so with that being said, next Friday, March 24th, I am opening up my four $25 e-gift card giveaway. With that, I'm giving away four $25 e-gift cards and those electronic gift cards, you have a choice if you're a winner to either choose Amazon or Etsy. So with that being said, yes, you're seeing another binder and you're thinking, but I thought you put everything in one binder. I did, but y'all, this binder's having a hard time closing already. So all the little envelopes that I have slimmed it down to is still fat. So I could not go and put any more envelopes in there and my binder was not closing so with that being said i do have my savings challenges here now i would love to resort back to having all my different binders and it may be a possibility here shortly in the future you all know i said i wanted to simplify things and i do but binders is not really where my love is for simplification <laughs> it's for wanting all kinds of categories y'all know i have kids i have chihuahuas i have grandbaby i have all of that so with that being said i am going to look into getting braille labels if i can get the braille labels from a company made and put on my envelopes i can go back to that because then i'm not screwing up my envelopes one of my subscribers jerry glass told me some ways of doing certain things to make that even easier for me when i do my denominations so thank you jerry i am definitely going to look into that and remember jerry i just got your email the other day your package has been mailed out and my two no my one winner for the jordan budgets binder i am messaging her today to make sure that that gets sent out so thank you very much all right, y'all, we've got a couple of changes to this binder, so let's go ahead and get started. We have 20, I'm gonna put that aside because that's my only 20. So that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Super simple, super easy today. Now, my giveaway will start on the 24th of March and it will go till April 3rd. On April 3rd, I will pick the four winners. I'm actually going to do it live and uh, y'all gonna see who wins. <laughs> so with that being said, nope, 10's not going in. See, I almost did it again. 20 is going in to our vet envelope. So just stay tuned for all the things for the giveaway on the 24th. That's a week from this coming Friday. That 20 that just went in there is to help get enough money towards my newest latest baby my newest chihuahua she's not a baby y'all she's five gonna be six in september and her name is bella but i call her baby bella so she's a real tiny chihuahua and she is just doing leaps and bounds and she has finally decided that this is her new home and her forever home because she is very comfortable here so she came to me with already her vet done and all of her shots done for the year Jaya and Tucker will be going in next month, and then they already have their vet ready for next year. I already have all of the funding for that. So once I get the funding done for Bella, then I will go ahead and we will start working towards a lot more when it comes to health care, if they need their nails clipped, things of that nature. So that's part of this envelope as well. All right, our next envelope is our room envelope i'm calling it my room envelope this is for me to get a brand new bed all the things that goes with the brand new bed i am getting a california king for my husband and i and i really would like to see if i can redo my whole room before he gets here um we shall see we're working towards 500 first once we get the first 500 then we're going to jump in and do it all over again i think i might need this a couple of times we're putting in 10 now and this tracker comes from yes y'all know jordan budgets <laughs> so 
that is our next envelope. The third one coming up is computer. And we're working towards getting my son a tower. I am going to get him a refurnished tower. You all know I just got Danya's laptop. I will be showing that. Hopefully this weekend she'll let me show it to y'all. And um, y'all, it's amazing. I'm so glad that I backtracked and thought twice before going and spending a lot of money at Best Buy. I went to Amazon. I got a refurnished laptop. And I also spent $88 to get her a four-year warranty for that laptop and that laptop only cost me $275 and she is in love with it. So $10 is going in. That's going to be towards my son's tower, his computer tower. We will not be buying him a computer monitor. I will get him a 32-inch flat screen like I have in the living room. I have one in the living room for the main computer and that way if he wants to watch Roku, he doesn't need a Roku device y'all it has Roku built into the tv a lot of them nowadays have Roku built into the tv so with that being said i'm gonna get him a 32 inch flat screen they are in sale currently right now for 118 dollars if it stays that way i may snap and buy one next month and just keep it aside until um i get that built up for his tower i have not looked at the prices but i think they're in the two to three hundred dollar range and yes i'll be buying him a warranty as well so just make sure you check out the um, refurnished items on Amazon because that is how I got my first air fryer. That is how I have my air fryer, convection oven, toaster oven, all things together in one, a 10 in one. And I buy a lot of things, uh, factory conditions, because y'all, I always buy the warranties too. The next one is clothing. This may be a little redundant to do. I just picked up um, an outfit for Philip. He was with me when I went and got the 108 cans of peas. You saw me just restock. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, and they had boys outfits over there. He is a size 14, 16 now. Y'all, he's tall. He is thin and he is tall. But I don't want to go back down the rabbit hole of buying too many clothes for my kids. And I've done that in the past so many times. And y'all, that backs up your laundry. Let me tell you, that does back up the laundry. $10 is going in. But they had t-shirt and short sets, and he likes the basketball version of the shorts. So I went ahead and he picked out an outfit. The t-shirt came with it. He likes the sets like that. I didn't know that they still do sets in his age group, and they do. And it was only $10. So I will have to pull 10 back out of here later. And I also got Jessica her brand new pack of socks. She really needed a new pack. So I got her a pack. That cost me $10 as well. So in fact, $20 will be coming out of here. But I combined this for spring, summer, fall, and winter. So we've got a lot of money um, on hand to deal with the kids' upcoming spring and summer situations. All right, our next one is tuition. This is one that I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. I may just make just generic dashboards right now because I bought a template that I can do that for where I can just change out the name on the template and put the new name in and just go ahead and print them off right now. But Danya really needs her high school binder to start, and I haven't gotten any feedback yet with the trackers that I was in cahoots trying to get the trackers made so with that being said i'm gonna make her some just dashboards right now to put in there so they all actually have like a label um for the binder because i have got to get on it y'all ten dollars is going in she's going into high school in late august well actually i guess it's mid-august i should say um so with that being said her binder will be coming on board next week and i'm super excited about that our next one is called Dream Big, which is actually our 52-week tracker that we have. And we're just going to put a 10 in here for today. Um, Lisa Marie Budgets showed this. I believe she showed it in December. She started hers in December of last year. Um, I started mine in January. And I also shared her post on my community tab. So if you run to my community tab and you see Lisa Marie Budgets post, you'll see that there is a free printable for anybody to grab and print off totally 100% for free and it is 52 weeks but it leaves everything blank instead of doing uh, the number each week you can decide what you want to write in there for yourself whether you want the budget to be high low whatever so we are putting ten dollars in here this dream big is actually going to go towards our vacation y'all and right now we're looking at renting out two rooms in the Lizzie Borden bed and breakfast in the future we want to rent out Lizzie Borden's room specifically and her stepmother's room. So if we're able to do that in the future when my husband gets here, we will take you guys along with us and we will show you the rooms and we'll do all the things. So I know it's kind of creepy to do something like that, but at the same time, I think it's kind of fun. 
and my daughter Danya really, really likes it. I bought her the Liz Lizzie Board hardback book um, that was talking about the trial. She and I know all about the trial, but y'all, again, I went on Amazon. The book was a little bit more expensive than I thought it would be. I was seeing it in the $13 to $22 range. I got the hardback book, y'all, for $2.75, and it was used in mint condition so hello yes of course i'm going to go drop low and buy it and it's an amazing book ten dollars is going into the ten dollar challenge again this was elevated by liz from liz and less and thank you liz i know that you are one who put my video up to help get me to the 1000 subscriber mark so i appreciate that d versus debt you are another one I do know that Snow Gardener 307 has been involved, and I know there's been a lot of people involved in helping me do that. So just because I mentioned a few names, don't think that I don't know everybody that's on it. Y'all, I'll be on here all day with a whole list. So thank you to everyone. Now, the way that Liz elevated this simple $10 challenge is, y'all, this is a lot geared towards either lower income and or people who just don't want to buy the budgeting items and or people who can't afford the budgeting items. Y'all, if you're wanting to start a YouTube, stop with the excuses, jump online. Don't show your face. You don't have to show your face. You got to show your budget. You got to show what you're doing, things of that nature, and how you're doing it. There are people who are super low budgeters, y'all, on here in the YouTube world that are doing phenomenal in budgeting. And once you get monetized, you're getting paid for the hard work that you put into it, okay? So kudos. Then you get a little side extra money to spend into your envelopes or whatever you'd like. But the way that Liz elevated this was she took a plain old envelope that she's had for a while. It might have come in one of her bills that she paid online or something of that sort. Just an old paper uh, envelope. And she's sticking $10 a week in there for 10 weeks and calling it 100 bucks. And when that 100 bucks is done, you can put that 100 bucks anywhere you want. You can put it in one of your envelopes like this. Or you know what? You can just keep it for whatever. Or you can spend it if you want. I mean, if that's your, hey, that's my money. That's my self-care money. Then go and do it. Her behind the scenes thing about this with, that she brought to light was you don't have to have these envelopes. You don't have to have these fancy old binders, which these aren't a fancy, y'all. I buy these binders on Amazon and I pay $7 a piece for them. So, you know, you don't have to have the zippered envelopes. You don't have to have the fancy envelopes or anything of that nature. And I've got fancier envelopes, but you know, these are just the plain envelopes. Um, you don't have to have all this to start your budgeting journey. You got to stop with the excuses. You got to stop with the fear of, oh my gosh, I can't get on YouTube. Y'all get on YouTube with a hundred count box of envelopes and just go ham on the front of the envelope, write what it is. Maybe it's dream big. Maybe it's vacation. Flip the envelope on the back and write on one side, draw a line down the center of the envelope. So I don't make anybody understand. Does the envelope say it's this is the white envelope? Flip it on the back, draw a line down it on this side, put date on this side, plus, minus, and then put your date and how much you put in. Put a date, put negative, how much you took out if you had to take something out, things of that nature. And go ham. Show everybody. Bring on that. I don't have um, regular envelopes like everybody else in the in the budgeting world, but watch me do this. Because if you can do it with regular plain envelopes and show everybody else, hey, look at me. I'm still saving. Guess what? Anybody can do it. So there you go. I call that the Liz Challenge now. <laughs> okay. I put in a couple extra in here because I really need it. I always need to have another emergency fund somewhere, somewhere, somehow, some way. <laughs> I'm always needing extra. So $10 is going into this beautiful emergency fund. Because it's, it's no big deal to have an emergency fund one where, but if you don't have it everywhere, then you got a problem. Some people just have one emergency fund. I tend to have multiple ones because this one right here for this emergency fund is going to be started for my chihuahuas right now. Because right now in the very front of this beautiful binder here with this beautiful envelope, I am working on Bella's vet right now for 2024. But right now, I also need to be working on, if anything happens, knock on wood and tell Murphy's Law to stay away. No dominoes are falling at this house. But as of right now, Tucker's tumor has not returned. As you all know, back in July of 2022, he had to be rushed to the hospital. And then he had emergency surgery to have a tumor removed. He had that tumor come back in January of this year, 2023, 
We have removed it, y'all. We're in March, and so far, so far, no tumor has come back. So could it come back? Absolutely. Um, but if it does, I need to be able to go ahead and um, make sure that I take care of him and make sure he's got some money and surgery would be an emergency situation for him. So there we go. We got another emergency fund starting. And last but not least, yes, y'all, I saw rabbit and fell off at the wayside and I started tracking my weight and doing things like I was supposed to this year and I was pulling the same thing I did last year. I wasn't being consistent. So January and February and part of March is just kind of at the wayside for me and I'm still trying to learn how to be consistent and not see a squirrel and take off running down that hole and then see a rabbit and jump out and jump over the fence, go down the next hole. So weight loss is back on here, y'all. I've gained not only all that weight back, but I've gained more and it's me being me me just not tracking and me not caring what I was eating and things of that nature. So um, we're going to give this another shot and I'm just going to redo my tracker again. <laughs> y'all just get on me about it. And last but never least, um, we are going to be doing summer groceries. And how I'm going to do summer groceries? Well, let's explain something real quick for those of you who know Liz over at Liz and Less. I am team mustard. I do not like ketchup. And that doesn't mean that I eat hot dogs or corn dogs. But my kids love corn dogs. Um, or at least one of them does, I should say. Don't let me lie. The other two love hot dogs and chili dogs. I got chili going right now in the crock pot, y'all. I've got four and a half quarts of chili in the crock pot going and kids are just gonna go ham on some chili cheese dogs and things tonight but i found it liz i was having a problem for some reason finding liz and less <sighs> etsy shop i found it <laughs> i finally found it so with that being said yes we're gonna do the wiener challenge y'all and this is gonna go towards summer groceries specifically i'm gonna stock up on um sausages like bratwurst and the sausages that have the cheese in it the johnsonville uh smoked sausage with cheese i'm gonna stock up on hot dogs and you're gonna say that is a lot of wieners it's a lot of wieners y'all that's a lot of money to spend on those wieners but those wieners aren't cheap either let's be real honest so i have liz's liz and les's wiener challenge i want to do what snow gardener did over at snow gardener 307 miss marlene and change this out because, y'all, I don't like ketchup. But Jessica's team ketchup, and y'all, I can't keep that in stock. I'm team mustard. Philip hates condiments for the most part, which is, he's just from a different planet. We all know this. And Danya doesn't like mustard. She only likes ketchup on french fries. So we got a catastrophe going on in the house. So basically, it's down to me and Jesse, team mustard, team ketchup. And, you know, we got both in the house. She's a ketchup baby, and I'm a mustard baby. So I love mustard on my french fries, y'all. So with that being said, we're going to leave the denominations as are, as are, as is. <laughs> we're going to put 10 into the wiener challenge. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of smoked sausages and a lot of hot dogs up on hand. But let me tell you something. When you freeze them, oh my Lord, when you freeze them, they stay frozen for a long time. I just pulled out another pack. We've had it in the freezer. I don't know which way this is going. There it is. Um, we've had it in the freezer probably a good six months, just like our last pack, and it came out just fine. So, yeah, stocking up on wieners is what we're going to be doing. So, $10 is going in. When Liz makes that sheet, and she's working on y'all, she's working on Team Mustard. Liz, let me know, because I'm going to get it, because I'm Team Mustard. And then what I'll do for this is this will be summer groceries for Team Ketchup, and then I'll do another one for summer groceries for Team Mustard, and it won't be for the hot dogs, but it'll be for something else that... I eat. So this beautiful vinyl label that you see here came from Hands and Bands. It was a custom made label for me. And uh, you can find that over on Hands and Bands on Etsy as well. And I love her custom vinyls. Y'all, I have so much of her custom vinyls. I need to get those in play. So that is what we have for you today. Please stay tuned for the 24th for our $25 e gift card giveaway. And y'all, if you've already been a giveaway winner, Enter. I don't care. Still enter. You may have, you may get lucky. If you went over and saw Ch Tracy at Golden Girls Budgets, y'all, she did her 1K giveaway. And some people want multiple prizes. So if you get lucky, you can get lucky more than once. So anyways, just letting you know, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, throw them at me down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to run over to lizandless.etsy.com. 
That's how I got her shop. I went over and put Liz and Les and couldn't find it on Etsy. So I did lizandles.etsy.com and it took me straight over to her Etsy shop. And I will link that down below in the description box as well. I'll give you the actual direct link so it takes you over there. And yeah, go get you one of these. She's got some really cute things on there. So I plan to buy more. Yes, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. We'll catch you in the next video. Until then, Without Limits is out.